Hey there guys, Elite Legionario here, and today I am bringing you a 2 vs 2, 31k. Uh, in this battle I'm teamed up with Greek member Cleo Menas. It's always awesome to team up with Cleo, have a good track record with him. He's playing as the Scipio Romans, which is interesting because Cleo almost always plays with Macedon or the Greeks, some Pike faction. I'm playing as the Senate, uh, and our opponents are Tut from the Ibros clan, he's playing as the Greek cities, and... Uh, Wolves Parker, who is playing as the Julii under the name Templeton Peck. I don't know what, it's, what the idea is, but whatever that is, Wolves Parker from the Wolves clan. So, um, anyway, uh, my army consists of, I think it's just a standard 14 6, and uh, Greek, uh, Cleo, Cleo's army is four auxilia, Archer Auxilia, two uh, Torian Cav, and I believe that is 14. Urbans, I think. Yeah, 14 Urbans. Um, uh, and he's playing as the Scipio Romans, of course, which I think I already said. Anyway, um, let's see how things begin. Now, this battle was a few weeks ago, so i got to try and remember how this went. Uh, that's right. Um, Cleo wanted to face uh, the Greeks because he's brought less, less cavalry, more missiles, um, and I think he's got more upgrades on his, on his infantry, I think. Or something like that. So I think he wants to fight the Greeks, which is fine. Um, I would have been happy with either, but um, my army's probably not built the best for taking on the Greeks. I play too many cav, um, so it's better I take on the Romans. I think Tut's army is. Let's see. I think he's got like many Spartans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 1 militia hoplite. So he's got three Cretans. So he's got four Cretans, one militia hoplite, and the rest are Spartans. Um, anyway, Cleo's going to move his archers to the wing, which is a typical Cleo tactic. Um, he'll put some on the wing and then some on straight, so he's getting some flank shots. And what Cleo will look to do is get these archers with his missile, with his cav units later on in the fight. Um, I've gone with lots of peeler screens. I want to try and drag as much peeler out of um, out of uh, um, Wolves Parker as much as I can, so that we can conserve um, peeler from say Cleo or get him to waste as much as possible, so that we can have more more peeler for for the Greek cities later on, um, which is always a good way to go. As you can see, you can see that Cleo is quite tight with his formation. This is so that he can go to Testudo um, and hold up and break up the Spartans' formation. It works very nicely. You're going to see a really, just really how well you can... By watching Cleo, I suggest you watch Cleo in this fight as he takes on um, Tut. Now, Tut's going to do a phalanx rush here, but Cleo's going to shift. Um, this is a good move because, again, it, it breaks up it you know it causes disruption among the phalanxes. Um, I'm going to shift my flank to match this, but um, Wolf Park is going to try and cut me off. Um, I didn't realise Cleo was doing this. He still just did it, and he said, "Oh, he said, leader, quickly move." Um, so I have to kind of pull back here before I get cut off by by um, by Wolf Parker. But as you can see. Um, He's going to phalanx rush him here, um, but I mean Peeler's going to come in quite a quite a mess. Um, although he doesn't, he took it a pretty good job here. His phalanx rush did limit his Peeler damage for the most part. Although he is taking a reasonable amount of Peeler here, and the just two does will help break up the formation. Well, that's hopefully what he's going for there. As you can see, the missile units are on the flank. He's getting some nice shots in over here. Um, and I'm getting a few peeler off on um, Parker. I'm trying to manual. I'm trying to work with manual control. Manual control is so much better. So as you can see, I'm going over the top and into more condensed units. Although I probably should have actually worked to hit these units in tight in the back. I think I was close enough. I'm going to reconfigure my lines. Me and Parker are probably just about. A, yeah, uh, actually no, I might have been a little bit better in that duel actually. Although then again, I was, yeah, it's probably pretty even. Maybe slightly in my favour. But marginal. Anyway, I think I was moving these guys up here to try and get these uh, tight formation units here. As you can see, um, Toots breaking these units off into loose. I think he's trying to stop any cavalry flanking action. And I believe, yes, I'm, I was micro microing there to hit these guys through the back. Um, I do believe. Okay, I might have just let these guys fire forward. Then I really should target these units in the back, though. That would be smarter. Um, 
put these guys into test turbo just so that he can't use he have the manual control because they don't manual control they almost always throw out the test turbo it's really retarded um, but that's what they do anyway um, as you can see Cleo is just breaking up units and getting peeler shots and as you can see the test turbo is totally stalled these Spartans and um, if Todd is not careful what Cleo can do is mar uh, march his men through and break them apart but I don't think he's doing that at the moment um, I think um, Cleo is going to try and um, get him to waste some more peeler on me here on, on sorry on himself um, get um, park it away some as you can see look he's slipping his cab around the back this is a typical Cleo move he's going to try look to pick up these archers and leave cab reactions to me and he does uh, Parker makes a bit of a charge here on these guys I think he gets one of my guys here um, but for the most part I've managed to chew up all these peeler screens peeler I think because none of it's throwing here and I think I turned these units on although I don't know why I did that I think I realized I did that and turned it off immediately because it's just wasting peeler on units that are not really able to throw back um, I think I was trying to manual hit some of these units in the back here but I didn't do a very good job of it um, but as you can see um, the fight's kind of breaking up here um, I still think um, Touch should be more aggressive here, he should push um, some of Cleo's forces because um, if he gets his numbers down enough he should be able to break those testudos even if they hold him for a while because um, we're just sort of duelling out here steadily and um, putting guys in here and just kind of grinding down these loose formation urbans um, and using, I'm using this new as a testudo just to waste his guys here he starts throwing some peeler um, I think most of it goes into the testudo um, okay, looks like some of it goes into these units in the back. Um, but I'm going to get my guys, and I think I've got manual aim on this time. Yeah, I've got manual aim on this time. I'm going for these guys, although he goes into just Tudo just as I do that, so I'm going to stop that before I waste a whole lot of peeler. So I'm trying to use my cave here just to see if I can draw some of his cav in. Perhaps catch it out off guard or anything like that. There's more peeler coming in here. Um, these Spartans are going to come up here and interfere with this though, which is going to make this a bit of a nuisance, but they're not fully engaged yet. But as you can see, um, it's these, um, these, as you can see, these urbans have just totally stalled these Spartans. And if you look, this is what a test turbo will do if you leave it long enough and don't do, it, do any damage to it. Um, that These guys are all fresh, but look, these um, Spartans are winded because they're trying to push through it and they're not doing any damage to it. So I think you should have done is really massed more of a Spartans to shove them through. It will eventually destroy them. Um, and if if you push hard enough against test tutors, they break open, um, even if you've got guard mode on. So I actually think um, Touch should have got much more aggressive with this area because, I mean, it's, Cleo's just bringing forces over here and we're just dueling at a slow pace here. As you can see, we're just trying to get rid of these last peeler screens. Um, looks like there's some peeler being manually thrown into Cleo here and tight. Um, I believe I threw some peeler, peeler manually here, trying to hit the general's unit, I believe. Um, I think Cleo was doing the same. We were trying to kill him off, because that would be a good kill. Uh, over here, I should disengage from this. But as you can see, I, I was trying to use my testudo here. As you can see, it's wedging in through the Spartans. And I do manage to see that. I ruptured it. Uh, broke it open and they've now dropped their phalanxes and got their swords out but because these urbans are here right behind them it doesn't work because the urbans will intercept it but it should allow, enable me to destroy the spartan unit um, and one of these urbans actually routes here which is really nice um, and now that I've broken up this, the spartan unit I should actually destroy it as well um, which is good as you can see I think Cleo was trying to do the same here um, which is again like as you can see look when he reinforced here like Cleo, Cleo's men broke up a little bit more and I think if, if um, Tut had pushed away harder here eventually if you get enough numbers down you can break them apart um, and it works nicely but if you do what he's doing here he just tires his men out for no real gain over here we're pouring in on um, and on on Parker and we're trying to manual control Peeler as much as possible which is why you can see City Waves coming in here I'm just going to try a quick charge but then I realized there's a Spartan like right there so I just lose it so there's no point in that um, as you can see 
Cleo is behind and he's looking to kill these guys. And, and this is good because if you look, if I just pause it here, we have one, two, three Spartans that are not engaged on anything here. Um, holding them back, just holding that just for two cavalry. That's a good cha good trade-off in my opinion. And here we can see Cleo's trying to wedge in, break up the Spartans on the flank there. Little things like that, that's how you want to break up Spartans. And here I'm hurling guys over the back here, trying to hit his general in the back there. Um, hurling Peter over the back, manual control. You, it's definitely a habit you should get into on Rome Total War 31k is manual controlling Peeler because um, it makes a massive difference. An absolutely massive difference. Because otherwise they throw them at all inconsequential units. They'll always throw them at a testudo if they see one. It's very annoying and retarded. It just means you've got a whole lot more extra micro work to do. And I personally don't like that because I'm not the best micro in the world by my own confession. Um, but we're steadily pushing our way forward here, although the Spartans that are in here are a rather nuisance. But that's why we're all shifting to testudo now, as you can see. See if we can burst them open. We're trying to kill off some of the um, urbans first. Um, and then we'll try to push through. So over here, um, I think these guys are probably still in guard mode, and it's really going nowhere over there. Um, if I would have been to it, I probably would have either pushed really hard earlier on or just changed the entire direction of the attack and just tacked someplace else, I think, because it's not really going anywhere. Um, now here I said to Claire, you know, Claire should be try. Let's try and get this... Um, these um, cav here. So Cleo's going to charge and then I'm going to charge this group over here. Um, but he's going to pour his guys in here and uh, he's also going to pour infantry off so I'm going to try and pull some infantry through. Um, Cleo's going to hold him and I'm going to get a nice rear charge there on him. A very nice rear charge on him there with my guys which causes a pretty good route there although I've got to be very careful I don't get trapped here. Um, which is why infantry is on its way, although for some reason it was walking. Um, so we had to quickly get out of this, um, because my guy, look at this, see, see this? They turned around there and ran back into the melee, because um, units sometimes are very retarded in Rome Total War. Um, so you got to watch that kind of thing. Snagging is very annoying. Anyway, I'm um, we'll quickly get, go engage these guys. Um, and Cleo's going to put his general over here. My general's over here as well. So they're going to try and pour on and kill that. But I'm going to quickly, quickly try and pour in on the flank here while I can. And then we're going to charge through and try and break through while there are no Spartans reinforcing this. So a nice wedge charge there. Some guys into the flank. And we get a pretty good route going in on these guys over here. Which is good because it destroys this flank pretty effectively. Um, and we get a nice route going, which is good at this stage because it means their cavalry has been destroyed. And I'm going to quickly try and catch this last cavalry out. Um, try and catch it out before it can um, regroup. I want the cavalry to be destroyed. Um, just gonna, I'm just going to actually push my cavalry straight on through. I want to get behind the lines now um, because what we're going to do now is we're going to start pouring on over here. And I'm going to start uh, going around the flank um, a little bit. And trying to assist over here because these guys are pinned down so we're going to pour on over here in the meantime and I'm going to try and come around the flank um, as you can see there's a Spartan unit here and I'm going to rear charge it now take it out of the equation if I can um, but I don't think the charge was a very good one um, and although yeah, I do eventually get it by weight of numbers that's so cool so it's just now that's a Spartan unit out of the equation uh, and, and Cleo is disengaging from the spot over here so this is where Tut needs to get these guys moving because they're not serving any real purpose over there. Now I decided to pull back my infantry units here for the meantime um, and we're doing good on this flank so we're going to try and roll this flank around um, before these guys reinforce. So I'm going to pull back a little bit because there are still infantry units that can come back and reinforce this. Don't want that to happen at this stage but we are doing a pretty nice job of breaking that open there. And now I have a pretty substantial cavalry edge advantage here, which is good. And we have enough infantry to tie everything down. And Cleo's actually still got a couple of arch units that are around the field. But I still need to get rid of these Cretans because they could be a very big nuisance. So over here I was trying to make a quick cab charge into the side of these Spartans here. And I do believe I get both of these units. I got the Julii units, but yeah, I got the Spartans as well. So good little move there from my own self, if I do say so. Uh, I was able to get a nice little charge, get a couple of units. Looking for those little opportunities is really good because you can find them. It gives you this little little edges that freeze up cavalry. So what we're going to do is quickly tie down these Spartans here. 
we're gonna Cleo's gonna pour them on I'm gonna look for opportunities to use my cav I see some infantry units here and I wanted to get those guys but um, Cleo is going to surround these guys. I'm going to pull some infantry in to support this, and we're going to look for some opportunities. Now, again, look, see how that? I can go a nice little side side shot straight up there. So I'm going to try and do that right now. Doing that is a really good idea because um, they're, they're not able to resist us. So their flank is completely open, and bam, straight through. Get another Spartan unit. It's a, a quick and easy kill on a very powerful infantry unit. So it's a good way to go. Um, and get a nice little charge on these remaining guys here, get rid of them, um, that's good, and there's General there as well, so I want to try and take him out of the um, battle as well, because it's, uh, the death or um, defeat of the General, um, route of the General is good. I'm going to pull back here, I don't want to engage on these Spartans yet, um, there's still a few Spartans here, this is still not... Um, a decided battle yet, even though we've gained cavalry edge, we have lost quite a bit of infantry. Now, what I probably should have done here was actually pull my infantry back, but I saw that Cleo had a flank move, and I wanted to see if we could try and destroy that, but I probably should have pulled my infantry back here, I'm probably not gaining enough gains on this. Um, now at this stage, I'm going to try and go get these Cretan archers, because they're a nuisance, and I think that the problem is here, there's enough Spartans to box, which is going to be limiting my cavalry action, because we've probably lost enough infantry at this stage where a box would be feasible, and as you can see, one of my infantry routes there, so I should have disengaged from this, which I think I do... Um, clear is a disengaging there, and I think I do disengage from this, but probably slower than I should have. I was trying to get some of these remaining infantry here, and I did manage to get uh, one of them, my cav. So I'm getting some pretty good action with my cav here, um, which is good. And we've still got one, two, some pretty good infantry options here too, but I should have disengaged from this. I was not paying enough attention there. And I have an urban unit out here, which I've forgotten. Um, so micro still needs to be worked on. I do actually get out of it, thankfully. It was a very bad place to stay. And I'm able to pick off his uh, archers here. And I do believe the Spartans regrouped. Um, and Cleo pointed this out to me. You know, as a leader, quickly go get that. I don't think Toot's seen it. So I'm going to just try and get a nice rear charge on this regrouped Spartan. And that should take it out. Every little Spartan that gets removed is a very, very good thing for us. Because if it gets enough of them to box up, it's going to be hard. So... I'm going to get a pretty nice rear charge there on these dudes, and that should take out the Spartans, which is good. Um, but there's enough Spartans here to box, so I think what we're trying to do now is we're going to try and breach them with this Tudos. Um, it's still very, very close. It's still very, very close. And at this stage, um, as you can see... Um, I mean, Twitch has still got a lot of Spartans. He's got more than enough Spartans to take on our infantry. So the key is my cavalry. I have to get a very good charge with my cavalry. So if Twitch makes the box properly, it's going to be pretty much impossible for us to do it. But if there are enough openings, um, I should be able to take it. And if we can get some Testudos and burst open some of these Spartans, then a good charge in with them when they don't have their... Um, pikes down and they're using swords because they've been broken open by the Testudos. That should get us a nice route if we do this right. Um, I think I still have some Peeler and some of my units which I think I'm going to try and use just to thin these Spartans out a little bit which I'll use in a moment. But as you can see there's still some pretty strong Spartans here. Some of them, this one's like 78, 67, 58, you know some pretty good numbers going on there and there's enough Urbans here from Parker that can just support it enough so I think uh, Cleo moves up. He was going to attack here, or he's getting a position to attack. But I said to Cleo, I think, you know, Cleo, I've got a little bit of uh, peeler left, I think, which I didn't get a chance to use. So let me throw them, um, because we might as well take the advantage of the peeler while we have the opportunity to use them. And unfortunately, Cleo's out of uh, ammunition. That would have been really good, because we could have just shot the Spartans' flanks, and there'd be nothing they could do about it. Anyway, um, the Spartans push out to take these guys out, um, and I think I was looking for an opportunity there, but I decided that, you know, um, that Toot's not going to make that mistake, so what's not much point in me going all the way around there. And anyway, I was trying to rest my calf, because they were, like, exhausted, um, and resting them was a better move. Fortunately, we both still have a general, um... I don't think. Has everyone lost their general yet? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Parker lost his. 
Anyway, I said to Claire, I said, hold back, hold up. I've got some peeler here, so let me hurl my peeler before we attack. Let's get every little thing out of these urbans before we go in for the full attack. So yeah, he's trying to break through there, but he's not really going to break through there. The key is, I think these lines from Tut are thin enough, so they're only too, th too thick, so we should be able to breach them. But the, the urbans could be used to stop us being able to do that, which would be very annoying. So anyway, here comes my, my peeler. And I mean, this is a good testament how resistant Spartans are to peeler damage, because as you can see, he only loses about five or six men to like two volleys of peeler. Oh, I'll get these guys down to 45. That's not too bad, um, but it's still not enough. Um, but I, the key is going to be with these cab. I still got a pretty solid number of them, but I have to get a good charge. It has to be a good one. I can't get a crappy one. I can't let my cab get wasted because if that happens, it's just over. Over here, we see Tut, um, not Tut, Cleo come from behind here. Gets a nice a bit of a rear attack, and I'm trying to use Tuto to walk through his lines, which. Um, is starting to work, but then again, look, um, Parker's going to reinforce it, and that will stop the Testudo trick. That's how you stop the Testudo trick. You just use some Roman player to sit behind and cover it. But it still enables the Spartans to get destroyed. Um, as you can see, these skip you over from Cleo route, um, and I tried bursting it open there, but I didn't. I wasn't far enough through to get inside it. Um, as you can see, uh, there are some little openings here but there's still enough infantry over here to stop that from being very useful now I was trying to think if I could maybe slice up here but there's a, I think there's enough Spartans here that I'd, I'd snag um, but I was saying to clear if you guys get these guys engaged I think I could slice up here if we pin this group down I might be able to route it and I'd hit the back of this unit as well so I might be able to get a route there but um, what happens in a minute is um, Tut his connection dropped out on us, or something like that. Well, I don't even know if it was his connection. It was probably just a steam server crapping up. I think it happened about now. Look, as you can see, all the Tut Spartans just start going all over the place, um, and they break up, and the box is broken. Um, and that was uh, very fortunate for us, I suppose, and unfortunate for them, because it just means now we can just bre break up the Spartans. And I'm going to go for a charge uh, into these guys here, and... and Wolves Parker knows the story, and he just admits defeat anyway, because he knows that with with his, with his ally being a, under AI control, is little to no point really, in him continuing with this. But of course, the AI still fights with the Spartans, so we're going to try and defeat them. But at this stage, um, it's they're pretty then you know they're not fighting very smartly, as the AI tends to be pretty retarded. Um, and we're just going to engage them traditionally here uh, and look for any places to use the cavalry. Um, but, I mean, looking at this, I think, you know, we had a chance if we got a good good cab placement and were able to get some nice slice charges into the flank. But if Tut had managed his Spartans really well and made sure none of his gaps were handled and uh, Wolves Parker used his... Um, Wolves Parker used his uh, urbans just to make sure that we didn't break up his Spartans. Um, I think we probably would have lost that. So it depends. Like it, it was winnable for both sides. It was still very much up in the air until Tut's connection had a, had a connection error and um, the AI took over and broke up the formation. Um, which means me and Cleo win this. But I, I think you know it was pretty 50-50. In fact, I'd probably have given the edge to Tut and um, Wolves Parker. I think they had enough there to to um, probably stop it as long as they managed that pike box well and Wills Parker just made sure there was no breaking open our, our, our urbans didn't crack open any um, of the Spartans and used his urbans to stop that from happening I really think that um, that between the two of them they probably would have had us anyway I get a good rear charge here on the general although it's only with a couple of cav um, but I'm going to pull my infantry in and I'm going to route what's left of these guys. So still, even though that unfortunately happened at the end, I still think it was a very good game. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed myself, um, and it adds to me and Cleo's uh, win ratio. I don't. I think I've only lost like one game I've done with Cleo. In fact, I don't even know if I've ever. Have we lost a game? If we've lost a game, it's only one. Um, it's a very good combo that me and Cleo have in the two v two. So um, this one continues it, but then again. We might have lost had had Tut not dropped and they didn't chance to 
keep boxing that up. But, I mean, it was pretty 50-50. Maybe, say, 55-45, and slightly in the favour of Toots and Waltz Parker. But it was very close. I think, you know, we still had the potential to win that. It would have come down to how well I got a good cab charge in. Um, but then, as I said, like, if, if they got, you know, worked their formation properly, it might have been too hard for us to get a break. Um, but anyway, just picking up the remainder of the routers here, and there we go. So there we go, um, I have 1,469, Cleo has 1,274, Tut has 1,581, and Parker has just slightly under 1,000. So all in all, it was a very close game, and it was it remained close down to the wire. I'm going to consider it a draw, because I, as I said, I really think it, would, it could have gone either way here. It just depends on who did what best and fastest, I think. So I'm going to say a draw. Um... These my statistics, as you can see, my Praetorian Cav did really well in this one. Um, and my Urbans actually did pretty good too, I think. So, uh, a very good game to Tut, Cleo, and Walls Parker. I enjoyed it, it was very challenging, a nice 2v2. So, thanks for watching guys. Please leave comments, tell me what you think, and I'll catch you soon next time.